The college board is stripping down its AP curriculum for African American studies, removing much of the subject matter that angered conservatives and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who expressed heavy criticism of the AP course and banned its teaching in the state of Florida. Uh, we have a response, of course, from the women at The View, namely Whoopi Goldberg. Let's listen to that now. Um, I, I, I don't understand why he believes that he wants people to see the, the history of Western civilization and history and philosophy of Western civilization, because he, he wants it seen through that lens. Why is your lens better than my lens? <laughs> what, what, you know, so you're basically saying, like to people like Marion Croak, you're not going to teach about her. Her history is American history. <laughs> what, what, what is it that he doesn't get? We're not going anywhere. Just because you stop teaching it in the colleges, you think people are going to stop telling these stories? You're, a, you're, no, it's not going to happen. The names of many black writers and scholars associated with critical race theory, the queer experience, and black feminism were removed from the curriculum, and the study of Black Lives Matter is optional, according to the New York Times. This comes after DeSantis on Tuesday announced a proposed overhaul of Florida's higher education system that would eliminate what he called ideological conformity. If enacted, courses in Western civilization would be mandated, diversity and equity programs would be eliminated, and the protections of tenure would be reduced. President of the NAACP uh, Legal Defense and Education Fund, Janae Will Nelson, said in her recent essay for the New York Times, Ron DeSantis wants to erase black history. Why? Uh, now, despite what Whoopi what said, they, they are Western figures, right? If, if people, af African American yeah, contributors to which, our to our culture count as yeah. Western civilization, which, which raises the question: America's Western, Western civilization, which, which raises the question: Why are these authors, if they are part of the Western canon that Ron DeSantis and others thinks are so important to teach, why are they? Why are these members of the Black Western canon being excised in this way? I mean, take a look, look at some of these names. There's some very mainstream figures like. Uh, Alice Walker, are we no longer allowed to teach the book The Color Purple uh, in in school? Uh, but you, that's not, but you are still allowed to teach that book. This is part of the, a specific curriculum. I mean, there's a little, I, I think it's being slightly mischaracterized what happened here. They came up with a new curriculum for a specific course, AP African American Studies, and Ron DeSantis and the, 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 go the government of Florida said they didn't like that curriculum, the course, they, didn't, they did not like the curriculum, so it was restructured by the AP, and the new one is slightly different. Not, I mean, Robbie, it's not slightly different. The names on this list, Alice Walker, Kianga Yamada-Taylor, Angela Davis, Bell Hooks, Nikki Giovanni, Michelle Alexander, it's difficult, Barbara Fields, it's difficult to imagine how you would teach a course on AP African American Studies without including these people's names. Many of these people aren't especially radical. I mean, they're historians. They write books. Michelle Alexander wrote, uh, is, is the, I think perhaps the, the biggest, most um, prolific chronicler of uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings and the goings on at Monticello. I mean, it's, it's an historical account of one of our founding fathers, but you aren't allowed to talk about it? You're not allowed to reference no, you, her books you or include are. her books it in the, in the curriculum? It just got dropped from the official curriculum for no, this one course. it got excluded from the curriculum for this, for, for not, it's a course, it's a curriculum. It's a, it's yes. a, bo it's a, it's a body of, of study. And so you have, because of pressure, I mean, you just were talking about in, an, in another segment about what it means for the government to be threatening Twitter with stripping its status unless it has certain content moderation policies. Here you have the governor of a state exerting pressure on what students learn, not because of an academic, it's not, it's not being criticized as an academically unrigorous or substantively not academically valuable, but because of his pressure and his personal peccadilloes about this stuff, right. he's, not, he's not going in and saying you can't say white people are evil or, or any of those kind of specific claims that have been made that are perhaps overreaches, but saying entire authors, authors are being excluded from an AP African American history I, curriculum? I think conservatives say the difference here, this is the government, which is voted on or selected by the people, saying what is going to be part of the curriculum for this subject being taught in government schools. And All right. that is not, now you okay, might so object when, to that. When, I don't particularly, <laughs> would I have kept 
the original curriculum? Would I have said schools couldn't use the original curriculum if I was the governor of Florida? No, obviously not. Conservatives but understand that's what they're doing. that this is authoritarian conservative, uh, I mean, authoritarian uh, overreach. When it, if, it, if it were SUNY University, a New York State school that banned discussing I can't even imagine the equivalent because a liberal would never say you're not allowed to talk about Thomas Jefferson. You're not allowed to talk about ancient Greece. You're not allowed to do a, cl- Again, a course on World War II. They didn't say you're not allowed to talk about any we're, of these we're, people. We're They're just ban, not part of the— We're going to ban James Joyce. We're going to ban Shakespeare. We're going to ban Philip Roth. We're going to ban white men from the curriculum. They would obviously understand that, that, was an inc- that the, the state has no role in making those kind of academic decisions. This is, this is the, the professors I mean, I've, I've that read, have been I've hired. I've read about a trillion stories about universities deciding that the curriculum is too much white, dead males, too much Shakespeare-type people, and has yeah. to be revised to take them out. Yeah, I've never seen so. a list of, of Shakespeare and, and, and other white male writers precluded from study. Encouraging people to diversify the subject matter, people having an interest personally in diversifying the subject matter is a very different thing than a governor. Again, I, a I think governor the having he an was diversifying this because the initial it's curriculum. It's African-American studies. No, right. It's within, no, di- <laughs> no doing, diversifying the viewpoints expressed and the, this, this, is, this is equivalent. That's what they said. This it was is equivalent too one-sided. To say this, is, this, is e, this is an AP English literature class. Mm-hmm. And then saying, oh, we're, we're not going to study. You can't talk about the Bronte sisters. You can't talk about Shakespeare. You can't talk about like some of the, the, the most prolific and important English authors that exist. That is what this equi- list is equivalent to. It makes no sense. It's nonsense. We're, 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 we're going we're gonna to, here's, here's a, um, Again, uh, a not Hellenic, so you can't talk a about them. They're just not class, in the can, curriculum. But we're going to cross off the Odyssey. It's, I mean, it's a, I it's mean it's people absurd. complain about what's left out of various curriculums all the time. I mean, I, there there will be a like the the a, what you just said. The AP English literature curriculum changes from year to year, and it might have it does not have maybe one year it doesn't have the Brontes in it or something else. People complain, but you do have to make choices. I mean, you only have however many days a who, year to who educate gets, who children. Who has to make choices? Who has to make choices? The academics. The authority. The, the well, then that's an okay. Then that's another objection. An objection that the government would have anything to do with this. Sure, we can have government that, that, have nothing to do with education. Fine no, by me. That, Robbie, the government, the governor should not be dictating. I don't think this is a particularly controversial point. The governor's role of a state is not to dictate the curriculum that is happening in discrete AP courses in schools. They don't have the expertise. Frankly, to weigh in, I'm not sure why anybody would I don't want think that the to happen. The expertise argument is very persuasive to people. It's persuasive to me because anybody who would cross okay. Kianga Yamada Taylor and Alice Walker off of a reading list is a moron. I'm sorry, it's it's ridiculous. It hasn't been the color. Okay, but there purple, is a finite minute, number of things minute. you can get to the color, in the year. So let the teachers decide. Why are you preemptively, Robbie? Like well, this is clearly the authority. Decide. No, you are preemptively saying we're going to exclude these these authors from the curriculum. This is not, hey guys, pick and choose what you want. If that were it, this wouldn't be a story. This wouldn't be a news story if everyone had the freedom to design their curriculum the way they've always designed their curriculum. What he's saying is we, can we do don't that want with you. universal school choice. What he's saying is we don't want you. We're going to dictate that you're, if you want to go to a public education, which is one of the only affordable ways that most, peop, uh, most people in this country can even dream of getting a college education and all the benefits that accrue, is to study exactly what the governor ideologically of a state wants you to study. That is an, an incredible authoritarian overreach. And if, you, if people can't, you know, don't want to admit that, then I think that they are grossly understating what kind of public pressures exist and what, how their lives can be controlled and looking very short-sightedly at what's coming for them next. Because I promise you, I promise you that if, like, the, the exact same people who are kicking and screaming about the idea that their kid has to play on a soccer team with a trans girl or anything like this or are going to turn the other way and are, are not concerned about the fact that literally what their children are able to learn is just coming straight out of the mind of, Ron DeSantis or whatever conservative wants to cherry pick. I think a lot of conservatives do want that. I I think there is a sentiment broadly among Republicans that for a long time, the institutions which are supposed to be viewpoint neutral have been abused by Democrats to foster. I'm I'm giving you how Republicans feel about this. This is their approach. 
these institutions were supposed to be viewpoint neutral, but they've actually been captured and are advancing democratic values. So now we are in places where we actually have a majority, where we've won a governing mandate. We are going to, to actually direct government-run school. The governments controlled by Republicans will direct government-run schools government, to promote it's our not values. A, it's not a government-run school. It's a publicly funded school. Something being publicly funded does not give you the right to ideologically exert your will. We have a lot of Supreme Court— I think Court, a lot of taxpayers wait a minute, wait a will say we otherwise. Have Supreme a lot Court, of citizens will say that makes no sense. We have a lot of Supreme Court law on this, in fact. The government has been restricted from saying things like, oh, you have a highway in your state, so you have to do whatever the federal government wants. And traditionally, conservatives have pushed back against that and the way that federal dollars are used to direct the behaviors of people in the states. That was the whole point of federalism. But what we consistently see from conservatives is that they don't actually care about those basic principles of self-determination and allowing people to make decisions about what they learn and what they care about, what books to open, and whether or not we're going to become do? fascist in They'll say Democrats do because Democrats were getting their way under the no, current no, no. system. No, no, no. Democrats never made federalist arguments. That was the federalism States, well, states to themselves was always a, well, a, a Republican say, don't, You're not going to hold us to federalist arguments that you do, yourselves don't care about. No. I, the hypocrisy here is on Republicans. Republicans are the ones that they said they care about freedom, that they care about all of these things. So right now, they're the ones that are sitting in their hypocrisy, not liberals. At the end of the day, they're the ones who said that they, 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 would, they would bulk at the idea of this. And if they want school choice, if they don't want their kids learning about black people, <laughs> basic black scholars, the fundamental, normal, everyday... It's black, a black history class where some of the most important black historians in the history of the, of the world are not included. Well, then they can also do the school choice thing and, and go to a private institution. Why is it the people who That's are- That's fine who by me. Own, right. But you just said the opposite. You just said that people who want to learn about these people should have to leave the public institutions, which are- their tax dollars that are going there. I didn't say that. I'm giving voice to what the Republican criticism is. Okay, well, my, my response to that Republican criticism is that it's deeply hypocritical. And there before the grace of God go you. And if you don't want a world where some liberal governor is going to say that your child can't learn about, you can't, can't read the Federalist Papers because the writers of the Federalist Papers were racist, then you should think really hard about en endorsing this uh, kind of a The policy. Republican view is one way or another it's come to that anyway. It obviously hasn't. It hasn't. There is one party that is banning books in this country. There is one party that is literally writing laws that preclude you from learning about certain subject matters, and that's the Republican Party. Show me the book burning, the, the book banning bill from Democrats. Show it to me. It's not a show bill. Me. What it is is show, de show it's me. Democrats writing letters to Amazon to take oh, off this okay. book off the thing. Okay. It's a soft pressure being applied. Okay. The so result is the same. So you're admitting it. There, you're, equival you're equating legislation to ban books with soft pressure to ask Amazon. I'm I telling would, you Republicans don't care. That's the thing. I'm telling I, you that I, it's, I, the I result would is never, the same and they don't care. I would never defend that soft pressure. I have talked on this show aggressively, spiritedly, about how even that that apparently anti-Semitic movie about that Kyrie Irving, Irving, Irving tweeted out should not be bullied off of Amazon. I have been very yeah. principled and consistent in my view. Well, and what I'm, not, I'm calling on people to do is the same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I'm against that soft pressure, and I'm against doing all this via legislation. I'm so just trying to you're, articulate you're, what— you're, you're against this policy. I said well. I wouldn't. I said I would have let the original AP curriculum they put forth be fine. If schools want to use it, use it. If they don't want to use it, they, if they want to use a modified one or the original one or do their own thing, I don't care. That's fine. I want to let everyone have the educational experience they want to have, preferably with the money following them rather than the system. But, yes, I don't object to it. Yeah, well, it's a really remarkable. We'll continue to, to, to follow this and see if there's any backlash here the same way that some of the focus on the trans legislation really seems to have hurt and some of these culture warrior issues that hurt uh, Republicans in midterms. Is this what the people of Florida really want, or is it the uh, minimum wage that they voted 60% of them uh, to get oh, as yeah, they voted get, for Trump in, in 2020? Yes. All right, we'll have more rising for you after this.